day everyone first uh, official audit for me I guess um, other than the uh, police officer that I met before um, yeah, so I'm gonna go and have a look at the Vernon bus depot for the uh, transit system and uh, see if they are willing to respect my rights to film in public So I'm just walking there now, and you can see the the buses there. So I'm not sure if this office uh, visitor parking. So there is visitors that come in. So let's go see if uh, if they don't mind us filming. Vehicles, their license plates, all that. So they got a sign there that says that they're recording, so... There's there. Pad for entering. Uh, filming. What are you filming for? Uh, I'm doing a story. A private facility? Public, yes. Yeah. Uh, is that a policy or is that a law? Well, BC Transit would like to know if there's somebody on the property filming, so yeah. I'll give them a call. You'll give me a card? A card? Uh, I don't have a card on me. Oh, I'm just seeing what uh, transit does here and kind of figuring out what the facility does and that kind of thing. My name is Doreen. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey there. Um, yeah, so is this, do they do the repairs here or what do they all do here? Yeah, we have a maintenance facility here as well. 
Okay. Must be a little bit awful sitting beside the sewage plant there, I would guess. Don't really know is it. No. And your name? Oh, my name is uh, Randy. Randy. Yeah. Uh, I have my own independent company. Oh, okay. So you really can't be doing this. And BC Transit is definitely, and when it comes to media, you take any pictures, but you do have to ask. And you're, is that a policy or is that a law? Yeah, a policy. You're taking policy. pictures of my employees and. Okay. Does that you trump? Have to ask. Does that trump the uh, Constitution? That's privacy. Privacy. There's no expectation of privacy in public. There's still an expectation when it's behind a secure fence. You can't trespass anything that your eyes can see from a public place. Okay, but you're taking pictures of people behind secure. As I said, you can't trespass anything that you can see from a public place. And this is a public place. So is it, uh, is that uh, area secure or is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. So you don't offer anything for pu public visitors to come in and get information or anything here? Oh, yeah. We've got riders guides if you wish one. Yes. Yeah, that'd be great if I can come in and get one. You bet. As long as you're not filming. As long as I'm not filming. So everybody's allowed in here, but we're not allowed to film in there? That's right. So it's public. So you're denying my right to the Constitution to film in public? I am protecting my employees. Well, I'm not here for the employees. I don't know that though, sir. Uh, have you ever heard of a, an audit? Sure. Yeah, people do audit audits. All kinds of audits, yeah. yeah. What kind of audit are you doing? It's a Constitution audit oh. for our, under Section 2B of the Constitution, we have a right to film in public. And there's no expectation of privacy in public, especially if you're a, a government employee. You work We're for the public. We're not actually government employees here, but it is BC Transit, so it's Crown Corporation. Yeah, so that's government. Yeah, but the people who work here don't work for BC Transit. They're a contractor. Okay, but so they're still paid by the government. Nope. No. So how are they paid then? They, we have a contract with Hi. BC Transit. Okay. So any, if you're paid by BC Transit, then you're a contractor, which means you're an employee of we BC Transit. We are not Tran an employee of BC Transit. Absolutely not. Okay. Okay, so, yeah. So you're gonna deny my right to uh, film in public then? I'm denying your right to bring your camera inside and film. Yeah. We can, we can contact people who have that authority to yeah that they can say okay we allow you to but sure. at this point in time you you're not coming in with that until you've been granted that okay yeah do you have, do you have a card that we could i don't no hold? no i'm so an independent we can't even tell them who we're granting so that's, that's a little bit of a you know saying we're letting that guy walking off the street in with the camera mm -hmm. they're probably going to say no yeah so they'll violate the uh Constitution. Well, the Charter of Rights and Freedoms under Section Two B. If you're not giving a name, then we're not violating. I'm not anybody's. required. To, I'm not required to give a name anywhere in public. I can film according to the law. I, I just believe there's a process for it yeah. for, for privacy sake. Yeah. So a policy would trump a law. The Constitution of Canada. Uh, well, it sounds like you're much better versed in that than, than I am. But we do yeah. have people who are well versed. I'm not in trying that. to be confrontational or anything. It's I'm just it the gets it just I'm gets information out to the people about what's offered at different places and what what's available and that kind of thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. We, yeah. we do have our obligations to contact the people who can. Who we are we're just obligated to contact them first, and it's yeah. not that that they would say no by any stretch, but yeah. we're just obligated to make sure that they're contacted and. 
they're usually fine with it. But I didn't yeah. bring my phone out. Do you have yours? Yeah. There's no ill will or anything like that. This, no, I didn't. I don't know so if you've ever. No. I don't know if you've ever seen stuff like this. This is like a, an audit for your uh, your charter rights, <laughs> and so you do an audit and see if people will respect your rights to film in public and stuff. And like she was saying that I can't film anything in here, but you can't trespass anything that you can see from your eyes. So as long as I'm in public space, which this is all public, and visitors are allowed to come in here to to uh, pick up pamphlets or whatever, yeah, yeah. then that's a public accessible area. So then that's covered under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms as well. And as Cindy had pointed out and I said earlier, you, you have information we don't have, but I do yeah. know one thing, we're not BC Transit and they're first employees, so that's who I'm ensuring that we're protected. There's the Charter of Rights and Freedoms, Section 2B. And who are you? I, I am independent media. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's mine to keep. I just wanted oh, yes, to show you. Yes. <laughs> I just so people like yeah. I'm. I know some of them do it very confrontational, and I'm not that type of person. I just um, want to kind of get people to know and get people used to being filmed because it's becoming more and more of an issue. And people see a camera and they get afraid, and they shouldn't. A camera actually protects you. Um, yes. If somebody does something wrong or, you know, sometimes police go a little bit too far sometimes and that protects people if the, that's all filmed. I don't know if you've heard about the different cases and stuff like that. Like, oh, or, obviously. Where oh, yeah. There's yeah, a lot of people have been... This industry and then lots of different industries. Yeah. I mean, I think you guys probably now have it all on your buses and stuff, which protects your, your uh, drivers and stuff, which is, is great. And, uh, Actually, it's not up for protection of the drivers. No. No, it's not. It's for oh, protection. It can be. It can be. Yeah. But that's not because I know. The key I know. Reason it's for protection of the public. Yeah. It's yeah. for everybody's protection. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's not. But I know there's been a lot of issues. Like I don't know how much here in Vernon, but I know in Kelowna there was like quite a few drivers that have been actually attacked yeah. and beaten up and stuff, and that's just horrible. And if there's more and more cameras everywhere, although it's you know it feels like it's a bit of an invasion of your privacy, yes. but it does protect you. Yeah. I know. Are being filmed right now? Yes. Okay. You thank you. Yeah. No, Good. for sure. Um, I know in Kelowna downtown that they put a camera kind of in some of the bad areas where a lot of the, you know, the druggies and stuff were. And crime in that great area where that camera was, it dropped almost nothing. Because they knew, you know, they had well advertised that there's cameras there. Now they took Europe's it somewhere else. been doing that for forever. Yeah, no, for sure. Yeah. I mean, in the UK, you can't go anywhere without a no. camera. Yeah. No, nowhere at all. Yeah. It's definitely uh, becoming 1984. <laughs> Well, sometimes okay. it needs it. Yeah. No, for sure. Yeah. It definitely protects yeah. everybody. But when I see this, I, see, I just have to find out what no, for the sure. reason is. No. Because as far as media is concerned, if it gets out into the media, we have to contact our company mm -hmm. and BC Transit. Yep. That no, needs, that's sure. And that's why we needed a name and a number. Yep. No, for sure. Yeah, some, some do, most don't. Just because... Um, they don't want to get bothered or whatever by it. They just want to basically go through and kind of educate people and, and stuff about what the rights are and stuff and that people should film things that are going on, you know, for their own safety. So, okay. It's yeah. an interesting um, education because mm -hmm. as far as we've been trained, yeah. it's, it's something, you know, we're not allowed to film in a lot of cases and we discourage it because of people's privacy yep and no, for sure yep so to hear it from your perspective is yep. is interesting yeah and well i'm sure that you probably like i see signs that you've got everywhere is filmed or whatever yes yep. yeah so in a way you know it's really no different it's just somebody that's coming in for service or whatever yep. is it's just filming back for you know education purposes but you one of the things that we have to be very aware of is if we capture a customer or something on a film, we have to let them know. 
Because of the Privacy Act. Yeah, but the Privacy Act, the problem with that is, is that if you're in public, there's no expectation of privacy. They're not protected in public. They're if they want private, they have to make that privacy, which means they have to be in an area where nobody can see them. Um, example, some places that you go into, they're sensitive documents or something. Like if you went and say, I don't know, a police station and people were in there mm -hmm. filing a report, you wouldn't want to get that because, partly because, you know, it's something sensitive to that person. Um, but also if you go into um, there and they're giving out personal details, you don't want to, you know, have that broadcast anywhere. So that kind of thing that you wouldn't record and that kind of thing. But that's more of a, even still, it's more of a, you know, courtesy than anything. That's but, not our practice. We don't, yeah, we don't if you've got papers, things. say if you've yeah. got papers sitting out on the table that are, you know, all their details or whatever, then that particular paper and stuff would have protections on it, but not technically them being in there, not in the public lobby. Okay, so that is information contrary to what I've been trained Yep. And that I've been told to abide by mm -hmm. that if there's someone on our bus, we absolutely cannot take their picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that's what a lot of people say, but uh, yeah, it doesn't trump the constitution. So yeah. So I'm going. So that person, I'm trying to get my head around that. Mm -hmm. that yeah. That's a, that, honestly, I don't have. I finished this conversation. Yep. I have nope, to get for sure. back inside. Yep. I just wanted to find out what you're doing and why. Yep. No, nope, for sure. For protection of our. Yep. No, for sure. Take a selfie that we sure. were talking. Yeah, you bet. Where are you? <laughs> How often do I do selfies? Never, obviously. Sorry, I'm wasting your time now. Get it? No, there's no little picture thing. <laughs> <laughs> this I can usually. I gotta flip you around first. There. There we go. All right. It's still, still light. Still not very nice. Sorry. Sorry. There we go. That's better. I'm not used to your phone, Cindy. Hey, I think I've got it. Got a little picture in the corner, then it's, yeah, it's good. That's it? Yeah. Okay. So that's generally how I do filming and photoing is, is it okay? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, for sure. Yep. So this may be case. a part of our education. Yeah, no, for sure. Yep. Where will, what can we expect this to be? YouTube, eventually. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And what's the name of the YouTube channel? Um, if you do a search for um, Canadians for Police Accountability, you'll find it there. Okay. Yeah. Is there an acronym for that? Uh, nope, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, I'm just... I was Googling. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we have a site as well, uh, but it's probably easier just to do that. Canadians so. for Police Accountability. Yep, yep you okay. bet. Yeah, okay. for sure. Well, okay. thanks for stopping and talking. Yeah, yep. no, no problem. Like I say, no ill will or anything yeah, like just, that. No, just education. an education. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Right. Yep. Yeah. So we got a muster station over there. There, I think it's the John Howard Society. I guess that's the end of their yard there, and that must be part of the sewage plant, which we should go over and have a look at.
This must be the bus exit. So you can't go inside there, but I can film anything. They were pretty nice, but uh, refused us to go into a public accessible lobby where they actually give out pamphlets and stuff for people who are uh, wanting to get rides on the bus and get their schedules and stuff. So. Other than them being very nice, I would say this is probably a fail. Apparently they're educated to, uh, and told that they have to get permission first before you come in and film in a public lobby. It's kind of strange. Well, at least people will start to get to know. So yeah, thank you for watching and um, check out more of our videos and uh, like share and subscribe to my uh, videos and like I say there will be more coming and uh, yeah thanks again have a great day but guys